Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my another exciting video. I know many of you just asking me or trying to find that how aircraft goes left and right in the sky because there is no road in the sky. How actually this big machine goes left and goes right. So in this video, I will tell aircraft primary control surfaces and their function while flying. So coming after the intro. While driving our own car, we very often can see that when we turn the steering wheel to the left, the wheel of the car goes left, then the car goes left. And when we turn the steering wheel right, the car goes right because the wheel of the car goes right. So the wheel is the controlling surface of the car. Now let's see what are the controlling surface of the aircraft. As like the cars, the aircraft also has three primary control surfaces, the aileron, elevator and radar. The aileron works when we turning the control joystick left and right, the aileron can control by this way. And when we push or pull the control joystick to the forward or to the backward, then the elevator goes up and goes down and by this we can get elevator's motion and by pressing the radar pedal we can control the radar to left and to right so with this three primary control surface we can get three kind of motion like in lateral axis we can get pitch motion by using our elevator and we can get the longitudinal axis by controlling the aileron and we can get the roll motion and in the vertical axis by using the radar we can get your motion so now let's see how the air affect this controlling surface and this controlling surface helps to aircraft goes left and to go right now let's come to the aileron now we made the left aileron goes down and right aileron we made it goes up so let's look how the air affect the aileron when the aileron was idle the air can go smoothly over the wings but now as we can see the right aileron is an up position the air just continuously pushing the right aileron to make it down so this whole wings has a tendency to go down and the opposite wings has the tendency to go up so with the aileron we get the roll motion now look at the elevator controlling surface so from the cockpit we pull up the control surface then the elevator's position goes up now let's see what happens with the air the air just going over it and it just continuously hitting the elevator to make it down so the whole tail section has a tendency to go down and the nose of the aircraft goes up so with this we can get the pitching motion and by doing the opposite we can get the pitch down motion now let's look at the radar when the radar is idle then the air coming from the forward is just going smoothly over it but when we make the position of the radar in the right the air of the right just heated continuously to the radar to make it go left so the whole tail section has a tendency or goes left and the nose of the aircraft goes right. If we apply the opposite things, the aircraft will go left. So this is the simple things that we can see with the friction of air and with the controlling surface, the aircraft go right and aircraft goes left. So this is the simple thing with the air that is happening with the controlling surfaces. So by controlling these three surfaces, we can make the aircraft go left and can make the aircraft go right. So this is the basic things that how aircraft goes left and goes right and also can go up and can go down. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you are new our channel please subscribe our channel because I will upload this kind of technical videos related to uh, aviation. So hope that those videos will be enjoyable to you. See you in my next video. Till then, happy flying!